presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Vanderbilt is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And down he goes at the 27. Sanders comes away with two yards on the carry. Second and eight. Ball on their own 27. Got some open field. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. He gets to about the 41-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. From their own 41-yard line, first down. He fights forward to about the 43. After positive yardage. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He steps up around the 48 yard line. I think the defense that time was, was really anticipating and expecting a run. And I think it was a good time to call the pass. It wasn't a huge result as far as the play and how many yards they got, but they did pick up the first down, and I think they caught the defense that time napping. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. From the 46-yard line, second down. the stop at the 49. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Under pressure. He's going to be sacked for a loss. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. Fourth and long here after the sack. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Height takes it to 21. They'll bring him down at the 26. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Here we go. Oh, McVeigh takes it left. Nice run to the outside. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Throws a strike over the middle, and he's tackled around the 35-yard line. Wide 
wide receiver screenplay. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. Quarterbacks love it when they have a wide receiver who can take a lateral pass and turn it into a big game like this. I mean, not only is it an easy throw, but it looks great for the quarterback stats. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Zips it to the back. He goes out of bounds at the 48-yard line. At the 45 yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll bring up third and two. So we're looking at another third down here. Get hard for a loss. And they'll lose a yard there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. of the drive. He's into the open field. Gets out to around the 25. That's another first down, Brad. Right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25. Go four. Looking for the corner. Nice run there as they work the outside. Here's play number ten on the drive. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here's a screen to the wideout. Tackle at the 16. That's a three-yard pickup. The defense respects this guy and knows they have to pay a lot of attention to him. He didn't have any room after that catch. He's scrambling, and they get the sack. Big stop by the defense. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Great. Brought down quickly. Second and ten. Ball on their own 19. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Brought down at the 23. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He 
makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Nice run, and he's brought down. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Steps up in the pocket. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. It's scooped up. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He scrambled, dives forward. Well, everyone was covered, so he took it himself for the first down. This guy is fearless. He'll put his head down and take a hit, too. He doesn't care. He's on the run, and he's taken down at about the 35. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Out of bounds at the 40. That'll bring up third and eight. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. And they're coming after this punter. Little too much leg into that punt, they'll bring it out to the 20. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Uh, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. He's out to the 30. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. First and 10. Ball on their own 32. There's a strike complete. He's down. That's a gain of five on the play. That brings him second and five. He's hit and taken down. Now that's how you run a corner route. He exploded out of his cut and beat the man coverage for a new set of downs. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46. So at the end of one quarter, still no score. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Play action. He'll scramble. Fumble. And who's got it? One of the defensive linemen. Once the ball hits the ground, it's a matter of luck and will. And on that play, it was the defensive end who corralled it for his side.
They coughed up the pigskin the last time they had the ball. Let's see if they can hold on to it this time. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. And he's immediately tackled. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. And he is drilled at the 44-yard line. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Alexander on the run. He makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line. and he stops. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. Booming kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Here comes the offense, hoping to erase the memory of the fumble on their last drive. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. And he tackles them hard at the 31-yard line. From their own 31-yard line, first down. He tries to buy some time. He's wrapped up for the sack. From their own 26 yard line, it's second down. Good outside run there. And he hauls that one in. And down he goes at the 45. First and 10. Ball on the 45. Scrambling around. He's at the 40. And they make the stop right around the 36-yard line. The offense coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executing. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's a third first down that they've picked up on this drive. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. Gets out to around the 12. He makes it out to maybe the 10 yard line. Mm -hmm. 
from the 10 yard line. Second down. As he works the left for a nice game. That makes it third and three. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Throws and he's got a man. Touchdown. saw something upstairs it led to a touchdown you can thank the play calling there very impressive he makes the PAT so a nine play 80 yard drive and they add seven points to the scoreboard you know this offensive line has done a really good job but really I think it's more about the big play ability from the running backs and why we've seen so many big plays from this offense the score now 7-0. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 35. Around the 47 yard line. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. From their own 47 yard line. Second down. He makes it to the 48 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 37. He's tackled at the 38. That's a loss of one yard on the way. That'll bring up second and 12. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Choose the mic. He fights forward to about the 36. So we're looking at another third down here. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. The kick is up, and it hits the crossbar. No good. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. 
I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. That is textbook pass defense. As soon as the ball hit the receiver's hands, he was all over him. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 36. South Carolina is up seven. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 20-yard line. two-yard line. It's second down. He's going to try and scramble, and they got it. Well, that time the big fella got home and came up with a sack, but credit the call by the defensive coordinator there with the blitz. The offensive linemen were occupied with those linebackers, and it freed up the defensive linemen to make that sack. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle around the 18-yard line. It's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. South Carolina can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. It's up. And they tack on three points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. made at the 41-yard line. Going right to his tailback. Brought down around the 49-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 49. Light two, light two. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 46-yard line. scrambling and he dives forward so they go on the ground and pick up another first down they are stringing together a nice little drive here if they keep this up it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone from the 29 yard line first down Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll bring him down right around the 18-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Nice run to the outside. The Commodores call a timeout. That's their second of the half. And this is the eighth play of the drive. right away. He 
He's on the run. And he's sacked. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow, kill. Yellow and three. Yellow, three. Got it. Now he's scrambling. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. Nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. The draw within a field goal. And he hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. South Carolina has a three-point lead. Now he's flushed and they got him. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. So the sack makes this a second and long. He scrambled. We've still got a half of football remaining. South Carolina's got a three-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Halftime of a game that has been a pass rusher's dream. I lobbied to get the cameras to try to follow these offenses into the locker room. If I had to guess, without benefit of having that camera, I would say that the quarterback is leaning over to the offensive coordinator and going, Psst, hey coach, Max Pro, Max Protect, all that, I think it'll work. Yeah, we need some extra guys in to, to help keep me upright. And you know, listen, this, this is, it's always a team thing. I know it sounds silly, but it's not always on the offensive line. I mean, quarterbacks come up to the line of scrimmage, they see the blitz. Receivers need to know when they're hot. They need to get the ball out of his hands in a hurry. So the running backs need to work together to pick up the blitz when it comes. And so it's going to be a team effort, but I definitely think it's more, let's get the ball out of my hand a little bit quicker, get it to the playmaker, some quick screens, some quick tunnel passes. And then when you do take those shots that are slow developing, yeah, how about a little max protect, keep a tight end of the ball game, keep a running back in the block. So I have time to take a shot down the field. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, well, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He has some room. He's to the 40. He's at midfield, and he's finally shoved out at the 46. We 
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 46. Got some open field. And he's taken down. Right around the 38-yard line. They lose four there. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Takes it and he's tackled short. Great job here in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. Right now he wants to get this kick away and change field position. He punts. No, he won't. Looking right. Intercepted. Out of bounds, right around the 44-yard line. From their own 44-yard line, first down, South Carolina holds a field goal lead. Tackled after decent pickup. That makes it seven and six. Some open field. He's at the 40, and he's leveled at the 37 yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 37 yard line. Brown gets a handoff to the right, and he has it on the corner. Makes it out to about the 20. complete over the middle. He's taken down at about the 13. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Flyers in there, got it, touchdown. Gotta give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Pass complete and taken down immediately. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And 
handoff, and he's met immediately. Call the loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Here's a throw and it's almost picked. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. He's tackled at the 36 yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. He makes it to the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line, second down. On the ground, left side. And they make the stop around the 39-yard line. Very stern effort there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. Deep to return. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Throws this one out to the right. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. Quick strike, and he drops it. And he's tackled at the 41. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41. He's going left. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. From the 25-yard line, first down. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes at the 21. He's tackled at the 20. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Quick strike to the receiver. He's knocked out of bounds at the 11-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Has some daylight. 
Tackle at the one yard line. First and goal, and they'd love to get into the end zone and make this a game again. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Throws quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, Vanderbilt's not going to back down from anybody, Herbie. I guess at least not today. No, not today. They played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. South Carolina is up a field goal. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. Got an opening. He's at midfield. Tackle made around the 41-yard line. First down. From the 41-yard line, first down. They'll bring him down around the 29-yard line. Taylor brings him down at the 29-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Gets to about the 27-yard line. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 27. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's taken down right around the 20. Number 62 who makes the tackle at the 20-yard line. South Carolina is up by three. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 19. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. Now he's scrambling. The 10. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He's taken down at the one. 
And that's it for quarter number three. Folks, we got a great game on our hands. 17-14, South Carolina. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. They line up in the jumbo set. Pitch play here. Touchdown, Gamecocks. And he hits the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20, brought down at the 22-yard line. They're set to go for another round. He's out to the 30, gains his way to the 33-yard line. From their own 33-yard line, it's first down. Gives it off. He fights forward to about the 33. to the 41. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He's scrambling. And they make the stop at about the 49. Complete. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Well, that was a really tough drive for this offense. You've got to believe the offensive coordinator, really the entire offensive staff, they're going to try to huddle up with this offense, try to make sure everybody's on the same page, try to forget about that last drive, and let's try to find some confidence and try to establish something here in this next series. And he's tackled at about the 41. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Quick pass, and down he goes at the 50-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Well, they stuck with the run, and it pays off for them. You know what, Brad? So important on third down to rely on the offensive line to get a good push, and that's what they did there to pick up the first down. From the 49-yard line, first down. 
Nice run there. Sanders picks up five with the carry. That brings him second and five. He's on the run. He's wrapped up for the sack. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Very good tackle in space. Gain of six yards. That makes it first and ten. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike Ten. Mike Ten, Mike Ten. He scrambled. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. And he hits him hard at the 11. First down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He gets out to about the nine-yard line. McDowell gains about two yards on the run. From the nine-yard line, second down. Fights forward to about the seven. This is the tenth play of this drive. And he is drilled at the two-yard line. So it's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Kicks up, and it's good. South Carolina lines up for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. What a great game for this quarterback, showing off a wide-ranging skill set. This guy is the total package. I mean, at times he has an understanding of sitting in the pocket, delivering the football, and then he knows when to pull it down and take off and run. Well, his team is trailing, so he's going to have to keep up the high level of play. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. it out to about the 49. That's a nice job by the quarterback to pitch the ball, and it got him a first down. From their own 49-yard line, first down. They'll go ground. Gets out to around the 38. Receivers got it on the screen. He's tackled around the 31 yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And two, and go. Makes the catch and look out. Tackle at the 22.
scrambling around. Fumble! The offense falls on it. It's second and 11. Ball on the 23-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Pretty good effort here by the quarterback for trying to squeeze that ball into a tight spot. I know it was incomplete, but he didn't have too many other options. This is the eighth play of this drive. Quickly, touchdown! That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. And he tacks on the extra point. Get set to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Less than three minutes in the game. And he's going to come up with a sack. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Gets out to around the 25. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 25. Quick out to his receiver. Brought down at about the 31. Good possession there for the defense. The Commodores call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Height awaiting the return. Fields it at the 26, and he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Well, Vanderbilt's given them all they can handle today, and they're still not done. Yeah, let's remember, they were a heavy underdog coming into this game, and here they are, under three minutes to go, with the football, a chance to put a drive together, and who knows, maybe they can take the lead. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Spikes the ball. From their own 41-yard line, third down. Just under two to go in the game. He goes downtown. That close to being intercepted. Five wide. He throws a dart to the right. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense.
you know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run from the 38-yard line. Second down. And he tackles him hard at the 39-yard line. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. He's going to go for the home run. Almost picked off. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. Going long. The defender had it and then dropped it. This one's in the books. The Gamecocks get the win, 27-21. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.